Hey everybody, here's Pam at the Paper Outpost and we are continuing to decorate this junk journal. So just uh, showing you some fun ideas, easy things that you can do inside a junk journal. Uh, this is a sort of a side belly band, but uh, I've got some scraps on my desk and I thought we'd just play with these and see where they take us. I'm also going to be pulling from this book where we decorated a bunch of the pages just with some fun different ways with inks and spray inks and just fun stuff. So maybe this, this picture looks intriguing. The theme of this journal is going to be a botanical style with a little bit of eclectic mixed in because mine always seem to go that way in some way, shape, or form. Um, so this little guy might be fun to turn into a little notebook. Um, Yes, I think that would be a fun thing. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me grab some paper. Just um, some fun sheets that are hanging around here. Maybe one, two, three, and then four sheets of colored paper. You can even use a uh, scrapbook paper if you have that. Um, maybe I'll grab five. Okay, these are just random. What do we got here? These are just some stencil pages that I made to, I love doing these stencil things. They're so pretty and so effective and pretty darn easy actually. So if you fill yourself up a little squirt bottle with coffee, uh, instant coffee and water and shake it up really, 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 really well to dissolve all the coffee crystals, you're gonna get yourself some nice instant brown dye, very inexpensive. And if you've got some stencils, you can make some beautiful prints. And so let's see here. Let's maybe put this there. And just kind of fun things that you can make along the way. And uh, I really do enjoy um, mass making things, but I also enjoy making things along the way. Oh, um, okay. So I think I'm going to make this into the cover of a little book. And just a little extra writing space inside of a junk journal. Nothing wrong with that. Totally legal, totally allowed. Doesn't break any of the junk journal rules. Just kidding. There are no junk journal rules. Um, and it can be a nice little extra space. So that's what I'm hoping for here. Let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna do the age old, the age old no measuring measuring technique. I guess I'm sort of measuring, but not with numbers. We're avoiding numbers like the plague. Okay, so I want to start about a quarter of an inch down. And, whoop, where's the beginning of this pen? Maybe a quarter of an inch in, quarter of an inch up, and that should put me right where I need to be. And I'm gonna use my craft mat and this metal ruler and a craft knife to do the cutting. Whoop. There we go. And let's see how we do that. We're just a little over that line. Okay. Go slow and firm. A sharp knife will always be your best friend in these circumstances. Now we have lots of pretty papers to play with for this journal. Ah, love that. Okay. And we'll use our craft knife again. Hope you guys are having a dandy time today. Everything is good here at the old paper outpost. All is well. And we're going to cut right there. Oh, I want to get above the line, maybe. All right, there. Okay. So now this is extra. I've retracted my knife. And I have this little paper here. Now I think the easiest thing to do with this guy He's probably just staple him in. Maybe I will do that. I'm gonna use a regular, uh, let's see, a regular staple. And I put aside, yes, for easy finding. Okay, well, I can use this. Um, this is just some foam. It makes it easy to staple straight into. And let's see, in the middle of my book here, arrange it where I want it to be. Hold it back a little bit upon itself so we know where the middle is. It's always advantageous to know where the middle is. And you can always do the, oops, the whack-a-mole to get center. 
bone folder to crease center. Place this in the center where you'd like it to live and maybe grab a paper clip or two or a bulldog clip, whatever. Um, just something to keep your paper still while you're going to. And if you're unsure where this line is, you can use a little dauber to enhance. Okay, where is it? There it is. There it is. Enhancing. Enhancing right now just so I can see where I'm stapling and it also looks pretty. I'm going to put it on this little foam pad. If you have anything that's soft foam, um, it's styrofoam, but uh, like foam sheet stuff, that's good. If you open this up, and I guess I have to move this one. Just going to put this right on where the staple comes out. It's just a smidge away from the edge. Okay, there's one. And you could definitely, as you can see, these are very easy to make. You could totally mass make a bunch of these. So they went in here, pull them out. Then I grab my thumbnails, my mighty thumbnails of glitter pink. Um, yeah, it went with glitter pink this time. I don't know, just maybe it's maybe it's all that Barbie stuff going on. I don't know. I think I was swayed. I was swayed. I was doing red, getting ready for fall, but then I felt no, it was too soon. I need to back away and go back into the pink of summer. Um, and uh, I retreated back into pink. Yes. All right, there we go. Just folded those down, and there we go. Now. Ink this up a bit. There's so much ink on here. It's plenty loaded. All right. I'm going to hew in the corners a little bit just to add a little enhancement. We might be just playing with this guy today. Sometimes that's how it goes. You get all excited about one little project and off you go. And that's all right. Because that's the whole idea is to have fun. So if you find yourself like fussing with one piece for a long time, but you're in the throes of fun, so be it. So be it. Just have fun. Okay, so there you go. This has a little um, design on the front, and it's a nice little booklet that somebody can come along and add fun things to. Um, I seem to have some pretty little lace here. I thought maybe I could incorporate into this this pretty little design. Okay, here's an end. Yep. Oh, oh. Are we, are we flowing? Are we flowing? What are we doing here? Oh, okay. There we go. Here we go. Now we're rolling. All right. I feel like I have a fuzz in my eye. I'll probably chase it for an hour. Um, okay. So we're going to lay that down there. That might look pretty. I'm going to get the old fabric fix for that. So this is a, just a subtle little um, design you can do with any trim, which is nice. If you've got some flat trim, it's always handy in the junk journal world. And you just lay down a thin layer of glue with the straightest line poss humanly possible, which is not very straight in my world. Um, but there we go. Then I'm just going to take this, this pretty little lace trim. It's almost like a tatted trim or something. It's definitely vintage. Um, right here. Lay her down. Okay, there we go. Now, where did I put the little baby scissors? Nobody, oh, here's a pair. I have a pair and then I have a backup pair because I always misplace them. Okay. All right, so now we have a little fabric element, which always, you know, I think it levels it up a little bit. It's kind of neat. And um, so we've got words and picture. And now you can, you can, you can design on top of this. You can, here I've got some Russian bus tickets. These are cool. Bought a big roll of these. I don't know, it's like a chance purchase. I don't know. Um, and it's kind of the ready, ready brown goes together. I don't know, I'm making this up, but I think I'd like to add this to the front. Do a little mini collage going on here. Yep. Um, and using the things up on my desk, which is always fun. Put my glue upside down. Okay. And... Uh, so it's just going to become something, a nice little fun added piece into this junk journal. Here we go. Okay, now. Um, I think I'm getting compelled. Don't know why, I'm just going to roll with it. Uh, getting compelled to draw something on this. Oh, that guy seems so far away. Let me, let me bring you a little closer. Okay. Boop. All right. Cover my glue. Let's see if this works. Let's 
that's not the right paper. Maybe I'm not, no. Why can't I find a paper? Anything, anything. Okay, how about the back of this? No, wrong, totally wrong marker, too big. Um, but what's that? Nope, too big. I'm looking for the skinny one. Maybe? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, this is, in case you're wondering, it's a Faber-Castell Pit Artist 199 in S. Small, soft, something like that. Uh, okay. So I think I'm going to do a little scroll work at the top here, just for fun. Uh, and I'm going to just add on to the design. Okay, and um, maybe add some dots. Random. Um, so th I, I love doing this. It's, it's sort of a little bit of a Zen tangle sort of. I don't know what exactly what you would call it, but it's kind of fun. And you can just keep adding things, little vine-like things. And you want to a small one at the bottom, just for a little bit of complimentary. A little smaller one here. Okay. As if it's under there. Okay, that's kind of cool. I like that. And maybe you want to go around and just decorate the edges a little bit. You can do some faux stitchery. Nothing like a little, a little faux stitchery. To give it a little bit of an accent. Maybe at the bottom. So you can take these ideas and just work with them and play with them and see what you got. Let maybe I'll emphasize that uh, Russian books thing, book uh, bus ticket. Um, this is an aquarellable Stabilo 8046 pencil, a water soluble dissolvable graphite pencil mark, which becomes like a watercolor almost when you add a little bit of water. All right, I'm gonna give it a good lay down of pigment. Okay, now I think you can probably just smudge it with your finger a little bit. You'll get like a softening. So if that's the look you wanna go for, you don't have to go for the full wetting. And this is very delicate paper, so maybe I, maybe I don't wanna wet this. Maybe. Just gives a little softening, and I don't even have to wet it just with the, the heat of the finger. Um, there we go. So we could um, do something more with the back, but I kind of like that just the way that's looking like that. I'm going to add that to my junk journal. So let's back up a little bit. Okay, so I think we were counting in three. What, what, say, what, say one. Oh, I did something here. That's so one. Two, three. This is another way to decorate a junk journal. You can count um, in so many pages and then decorate uh, if you so choose. And oh, these are nice. Look at I made a bunch of up. Oh, yeah, I did. I've actually got some pa altered paper clips because we played the other day. So maybe I'll use this one. It's got a big paper clip on the back. Paper clip it to the top here. You could tuck it in a pocket too or something like that. That's totally okay. There we go. All right. Now, okay, so 
Okay, so I think I'm going to go to the next signature. You can do this different ways, but I think that this is, that was a chubby thing. We will call that a chubby thing. Now, maybe we want to do other chubby things, right? We could want to do other chubby things. So let me make something else that's a little bit chubby. You don't have to do all chubby, but if we're doing chubby, we might go this in this direction. Um, okay, this is from that botanical illustration. Uh, Digi kit, but I'm just going to tear this down. This is from cardstock, this 110 pound weight cardstock that I used. Uh, I'm just going to save these pieces because they're kind of cool. What I'd like to do is just get, well, maybe leave that piece on top. And I do have these little skinny pieces of paper, and I thought it might be nice to maybe make a little booklet out of this, but maybe like a half booklet, not a full booklet. It's gonna be attached to the page. It's not gonna come off. Um, and I have enough of these, so I'm gonna use this as my front. Maybe just decorate the front up a little. And, and there's nothing wrong with using pre-made embellishments. If you wanna do that, you can buy them from the store and just, Put them in if it's too much fuss fuss for you but if you enjoy the process of making little tiny things which i think a lot of us do it's like a thing we just like to make these little bitty things okay that's good okay all right so i'm going to turn it over this is going to be my front all right and now okay so i'm going to these are well, they're not actually a bad width. Maybe I'm just going to do them actually the width that they are for. Let's see if this added thickness enough. We'll do five. Okay. Five. Okay. So it's a little bit of a thicker thing, but it's okay. And I think I have my stapler right here, so I think it's probably going to be the way to go. All right. Actually, let me pull it down a little bit. And then let me use this to fold over. Yeah, let me just do that. Fold that like that. Didn't really have to do that if I'm gonna, I'm gonna glue it down. Well, let's see. Okay, unsure at the moment. Um, in the creative process, let's see where this goes. Here's a, okay. There we go. All right, so one will hold all those in place. Now we have this with uh, four tails, so I want to shorten these tails up a little bit. I used to have a little ruler. Something is eating my rulers. I don't know what, what it is. Okay, so. Uh-huh, uh-huh. A little further down, let's see. Mm, there, would be good. Okay. There we go. All right, so now everything lives behind the scene. And. Do the top. Maybe I'm going to take a little bit of that trim again because I do like it. Very pretty. And run it right across where the staple is. And you can't even see the staple. Not that there's anything wrong with the staple. It's a very nice industrial look if you like the staple look. But I'm just going to cover it here. All right, right across. Get some glue down there. This is Fabrifix clear silicone glue. Fabric to fabric, fabric to paper, paper to paper. And we are gonna put that. Trim that. And then, uh, <clears throat> I don't know, I, I feel compelled to do a little double bunny ear bow, because they're easy. And even I can't mess those up. And the, what does that get you? Why do the double bunny ear? Because then your, your little bunny tails go down to the bottom of your bow, and it's really kind of nice how that works out magically. It's very, very easy. All right. I'm going to put a little dab will do you right there. I'm going to put this little bow ski right there. 
Yep, there we go. Bow is in place. I'm a little shorter of a bow on that side. Okay, there we go. Mm -hmm. Very nice. All right. And so, you know, just since I'm playing, today's a play day. Aren't they all? Um, I think I'm going to use this paper Castell pen to just um, enhance this design a little bit. I'm going to follow some of the the lines on one side of it. It almost gives a shadow cast look to the drawing on this side. Okay. It's subtle, but it's uh, definitely present. Okay, just maybe a, a fraction away from the actual design. And it's a fun way to enhance your work a little bit. It's really hard to mess up. Just kind of go with it. Yeah, okay, we can even go under this little alternative flower plant thing on that side. And, um, yeah, it's kind of a neat look. Let me try you a little closer. You can just see where the line enhances the look. And if you want to keep going just for fun, now of course this is all just for fun, so we'll just, we can, we can follow it with dots and enhance even more. It's a little artistic woohoo we're doing here. That's what this is called officially. A woohoo! And we're just playing. So if you feel compelled, grab some pretty pictures and just enhance what's already there in front of you. And that can add a different dimension. Plus it can also wake up your imagination if you want to do something a little different, a little fun. You're allowed to play with your papers. It's okay. And you're allowed to make mistakes and goof it up. And if you want, you can crumble it up and toss it away. Um, or you can just keep going and seeing where it takes you. I recommend that strategy first of all. Like, just keep going. See where if you can dig yourself out of the hole. Because <laughs> you never know. It might turn into something pretty cool. And, um... All right, let's go one level. What the heck? What the heck? Uh, so we can actually zentangle half of this. And, um... So, let's see. Um... If I were going to zentangle this, what I could do, I could do like a bigger, broader stroke and put a defining area here. This, see, this really means nothing to anybody. But we're just going off, we're take, extending these lines, making segments, and now we have sections. Okay? And then what we can do is we can, we can zone off the dots give them their own little area to be in as if they were quadranted. I have no idea what I'm doing at this point. This is all crazy. Okay, so now we could do something else in the remaining areas. Then maybe we want to do bigger circles that sort of, they're almost like bubbles. And just fill in this area. Mm-hmm. As many bubbles will fit. They don't have to do every area. You could just do some. Some are bubbly. Some are not. Just like in life. We meet all kinds, right? Right, right. Uh-huh. And there we go. All right. All right. Almost done the bubbling. It's very relaxing to bubble in. Oh, I hear birds singing outside. It's pretty. It's very early here in the morning. It's a gorgeous day. Okay. Maybe this little area too. All 
Okay. So you can just keep going with any little design and just develop it, develop it, develop it. Um, we could leave white space. We can fill in the white space maybe with X's. X's are, are not a bad uh, like space filler for an alternative look. It's an easy thing. Pretty much most people can do little X's. So you do not have to be a super artist. You just want, you're just somebody who wants to have some fun with paper. That's all it is. You don't have to define yourself. That's I guess what I'm saying. Don't get hung up on a label. Don't get hung up on I'm artistic, I'm not artistic. Uh, just do it. Just get in there. You grab your pigment and your pencils and your pens and your markers and you just start playing and you leave the judgment behind. There we go. All right, so now we have just totally done half of that. And I think that's, that's what I'm going to just we can do this little spot up here. Then I will feel like I'm a complete, complete, <laughs> I'm a complete something. Um, okay, there we go. So just goofing around fun. Now let's go ahead and put this in the journal. Oh, that might actually look nice on the front of that. I think I will put that there. I'm going to just be bold and put that there. I think I'm just going to glue this top piece because that'll be enough to hold it. This is Fabrifix glue. It's pretty strong. All right. Boop, boop, boop. I've got a decent amount because it's only this one little piece that's going to hold it down. You could do glue down the entire back page, but I thought, well, I'll just give them something extra to play with. There we go. All right. There we go. Okay, so now that lives on the page. And when they open it up, they've got a nice little tearaway notebook here that they can play with. And But it'll always be part of their journal. Yes. So we have, we have somebody very close, very close. Oh, by the way, the, um, the mega bonus bundle bundle it is completely finished. Thank you very much to everybody who purchased. Um, yes, every single one of them went and we are good to go into a new, hello everybody. This is canine reporter sunshine. Yes, I have given myself a new name and it seems to be sticking. And, um, okay, so I guess as canine reporter Sunshine, I should have something to report. And um, I would like to say that the birds are singing outside. I already told them that. They know that. Oh, you stole my story, Mom. Okay, so what else is going on? All right, here's a big one. The sun came up. Are you okay? That's riveting. It did. It came up. Yes, I can vouch for him. He, his sources are correct. Yes, I have very reliable sources. They're generally me and mom. <laughs> okay. So, so we all agree there is a grand consensus in the house. The sun came up. Okay, so now moving on to chicken. Okay, I, I, I should have a better segue there, I'm sure. But uh, let's just say that there is a chicken in the fridge that has not been shared with sunshine. No. Um, we're working on this. We're working to rectify this immediately because there will be protests, loud, large town hall protests, if sunshine does not get some of that chicken. <laughs> oh, will there? Is that, uh, is that, is that a threat? That's a fact, okay? Can I deal in facts as a journalist, and that's a fact. So prepare, prepare, mother. Prepare the chicken or prepare to be uh, protested? I'm just going to let you ponder on that, mother. I want both to be in your mind. <laughs> <laughs> um Okay, well, we are definitely sliding up the evolutionary scale of reporting. Yes, yes we are. Yes, we're going bigger, we're going grander, and we're taking no prisoners. This is it. Sunshine, beat on the street. Hmm. Oh, sunshine out. <laughs> oh, well, um, you know, as they grow up, they get, they get, you know, these little attitudes. What can I tell you? I'm sure you all can relate. You know, you're going along, you think everything is fine, and then all of a sudden we got 
attitude. I know, I know. All right, so it was an easy day today, just something fun, something playful, and uh, we're just slowly decorating this little journal, enjoying the ride. So thank you very much for joining me. If you don't know, um, oh, everybody welcome, whether you're new, whether you're uh, uh, present <laughs> already, thank you for being here. Um, I have a free monthly emailed newsletter. If you haven't uh, signed up for that yet, the link is down below. You get a free digital image emailed to you every month, a checklist of supplies, note from the bookmaker, which explains what a junk journal is and how to use it, and a page list of ideas to break a blank page. There's also junk journal tips, updates from me, and a whole plethora of other little goodies. And um, I, my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. My podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays, new audio material. And um, uh, you can watch video podcasts any day of the week on Spotify. Uh, I have an Etsy shop where I have journals and bundles when they're available for sale and uh, kits and things like that. And also I have um, uh, digi kits, which are printable, downloadable image images, five pages in each digi kit. And uh, you can buy the computer files from me on Etsy and then print them out at home. If you don't like to print, I have a print and mail option where I will print out 10 digi kits for you. And that gets you uh, 50 printed pages. All I need from you is to buy the print and mail option and then send me your list of digi kit names that you want. 10 names. I only need the first two or three words. Send it either through Etsy message or to Pam at the Paper Outpost.com. And I have an Amazon shop if you're looking for favorite tools and supplies. Uh, I try and find links for them and put them in there. That does help my shop, but if you do not pay more for the items for using my links. So thanks very much for that. And I have a merchandise shop. If you like the phrase, create with reckless abandon, or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise, you can get that on a sweatshirt, um, a t-shirt, a mug, a zip hoodie, a tote, or a water bottle. And uh, great for gift giving. And... Uh, you can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, and Facebook group. Come and join our Facebook group. We're having fun over there doing weekly and monthly challenges and also seeing what you guys make from these videos. And um, remember most of all that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon, everybody. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.